woman is engaged to dad twice her age. A woman engaged to dad of four twice her age says it was love at first sight after she fell for his slick dance moves and snappy dress sense. Entrepreneur and fitness coach Najla Mohammed, 24, from Arizona, first met businessman and dad of four John Bilot, 48, from Wisconsin, in August 2016 at a nightclub where he was celebrating his birthday. One of Najla's friends introduced them to each other and they became inseparable, falling in love within weeks of dating. The couple received a lot of backlash about their relationship, with both families unsure about the union and John's 25-year-old daughter refusing to speak to Najla. They also lost friends along the way including people who tried to break them up by claiming Job had cheated. But the pair stuck by each other and just over a year after they met, John popped the question. They've now set a date for their wedding and John's daughters have come to love Najla, and the girls regularly go out clubbing together. I didn't expect I would fall in love within weeks of dating, Najla said. It was almost love at first sight, within weeks actually. The amount of time we spent together, all day and night, our connection grew very strong. What attracted me to John at first was how well this man could dress. Then, when I saw his dance moves and rhythm, I was very impressed. He's also very charismatic, handsome and has a kind heart. Najla admitted her and John's families weren't happy about the relationship initially, but when hers met John and discovered how serious they were about each other, they accepted it. Job has four daughters, Jessica, 18, Carissa, 25, who is only two months older than Najla and Lauren, 26, who is older than her future mother-in-law. While Carissa didn't take their relationship well in the beginning, Najla said she has grown to like her and now they even go out partying together. In November 2017, John took Najla's family to his villa in Mexico, where they went out for a meal. When they arrived back at the villa, he took them all to his balcony where he got down on one knee and proposed. They are now discussing the having children and even John's youngest daughter, who is nine, is keen on the idea. We most definitely want to have children, John would like a son to carry on his legacy, but we would be happy with a boy or girl or even both, said Najla. His youngest daughter is very eager to be a big sister and asks me almost every time when we are having a baby. Najla said John was attracted to her beauty at first, but then fell in love with how well they connected. It didn't seem that he was talking to someone younger than him because the conversations never went dull, she explained. I think we get along extremely well because I'm mature for my age, and I guess you can say he can be immature but never in a bad way. When people found out about us, they would find ways to try to destroy our relationship, gossiping and even making up lies about us both so we could stop seeing each other. People would lie that John was seeing other girls and that one time in particular he was out with some random girl, but I knew it wasn't true because he was with me that day and we were living together. Job has four daughters, in the beginning of our relationship it was tough for the daughter who is closest to my age, so she refused to meet me or talk to me. Eventually when we met, 
she got to know me and now we all feel pretty close and talk frequently. Now they say that they are very happy for their dad and we party when we get together. Despite both having affluent jobs, the couple do receive negative comments about their relationship, with some people branding Najla a gold digger. Najla added that their mixed race union has else made people uncomfortable. But now they are so loved up they don't notice the comments anymore and have already set a wedding date in June 2019. Friendships we had for years ended, but we didn't let any of it tear us down. Looking back, it actually made us stronger, said Najla. It became an us against the world kind of thing. John and I are not the same race. I am black and he is white. John and I are not close in age, he is 48 and I am 24. The combination of those two factors made people feel uncomfortable around us and our relationship. The stares, the uncomfortableness in social settings, the outright hate of our relationship to our faces and especially on social media has been difficult. People sometimes laugh or give dirty looks as if they're confused. The most common things people say are why are you with that old man? And you're a gold digger. People see that I'm a younger woman dating an older gentleman and assume I'm after him for money, but I have my own business and we're building businesses together. We don't let the opinions of other people affect our life and our relationship. I would say that judging a book by its cover has never been a good idea. People don't have to look like brother and sister to have a great relationship. The facade is never as important as the foundation.